Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you all of my pickups for the month of February, so stay tuned. So during the month of February, it did start off a little bit slower than usual, which was nice on my wallet. But as the month progressed, it did get a lot busier. I've um, got a lot of new releases here. Um, first up, um, i got Ford versus Ferrari. This is the Target um, book edition. Still haven't had a chance to see this movie yet. Um, color out of space. Really like this slipcover. I've heard a lot of good things about that one with Nicolas Cage. Um, I've got Shadow. The Great Gatsby. Christine. Hulk. Not a big fan of this particular movie. Uh, but I did get a good price on that, so I picked it up. Universal Soldier. Really enjoy that movie. Also, Red Heat. Unforgiven. And I've got Man of Steel. Um, it was on sale. Best Buy, I think, had um, a really good price on these. And then I got the other um, slipcover edition. So, got both of these. And then, let's see, from Shout Factory, I got Daunton. Daunton? I'm not really sure how that's pronounced. Um, but this is a part of the um, Shout Factory collection, so I picked this up. I also got Rabid. Really like the slipcover on that. The house that Jack built, which I'm really looking forward to checking this one out. I haven't had a chance to um, see this one yet, uh, but it does have Matt Dillon in it. And then the collector's edition for um, Pet Cemetery 2. Really like that one. And of course, My Bloody Valentine, collector's edition. And then I picked up, I, th I think it's pronounced Patima Inverted. Um, this is a. Um, a G Kids edition that I picked up. And then I got The Legend of the Lone Ranger. I really like um, the westerns. I really like Lone Ranger, so I had to get this one. And I got The Nightingale. So those are my Shop Factory releases. And let's go ahead and just show you my Frozen releases. There's a few of those. I did get the Target exclusive Frozen um, 2 movie collection. Now this right here was $39.99, which is unfortunate, um, but I do like the slipcover on this one, and I do like the two movie packs, so I went ahead and picked that one up. Hopefully there will be a uh, price decrease on that. And then I got the Target um, Storybook Edition for Frozen 2. And I really like this Walmart exclusive with this lenticular slipcover. Now the lenticular doesn't really do much of anything, but it is a nice slip on this one, so I picked it up. And then I got the Disney Movie Club Frozen 2 4K release. And of course, I was finally able to get the um, Frozen 2 Steelbook from Best Buy. I did an unboxing of that, so I'll link that either up above or later on. Okay, I also picked up the Target exclusive um, Knives Out. Now this comes with the um, a book inside. Um, I have not seen this movie yet. I'll probably watch it this weekend. I've heard nothing but good things about it, so I'm really looking forward to that. And then there was a really good deal on Amazon for Flipper, um, Season 1 and Season 2. So I picked this up. I think I got both of these for, I think, $15. Maybe even cheaper than that. Um, but really good reviews on Flipper. Okay, I got the Beverly Hills Cop 3-pack. Um, nice collection. No 4K release. I got um, 3D Rarities. Now there's a 3D Rarities Volume 2 coming out in March, I believe, or April. So I went ahead and picked this one up when I found a good price on it. Um, I got um, The Fanatic. Now I did see the trailer. The trailer looked pretty interesting. I know um, it doesn't get very good reviews. It was very cheap. I think I got, I think I paid $12.99 for that at Target. And then I got the Warner's Archive Tex Avery um, Volume 1. Very happy to have this one in the collection. I'm looking forward to um, having more of these once they get them released. And then I got Speed Racer, the complete series. I've been waiting to pick this one up. 
I found a really good price on Amazon for this, so I got this one. I did grow up watching Speed Racer, so it's nice to have that. And then I've got Jungle Fever. Never actually seen this movie. Um, I do remember when this was released, and I am looking forward to checking that one out. Okay, let's go ahead and show you my Mill Creek um, selections. Now, these did come in the mail from Mill Creek. Um, I got Hudson Hawk with this um, VHS slipcover. No Mercy. Vibes. When a Stranger Calls. And then I got Made in Manhattan. And then this double pack, um, Return to Paradise and Reservation Road. Another double pack, Dad and I'm Not Rappaport. And another double pack, um, The Color of Magic and Hogfathers. Hogfather. Now, I've never seen these, never even heard of them. But I did go on Blu-ray.com and look these up, and they they're pretty good movies from what I can read. I've never checked, I've never seen that, but I am looking forward to checking that one out. And then I got two TV shows. I got the Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Now I did see this series, I believe, on either Amazon Prime or Netflix. It was enjoyable, and also I got the Mindy Project. Now this is the complete series on Blu-ray. I did watch the first seasons. I think probably the first three or four seasons that aired on um, network TV and then I believe it went to Hulu and I, and I didn't have Hulu so I didn't get to finish that so I am looking forward to checking those out from Mill Creek. Okay let's show you some Zavi exclusive still books. I did pick up um, Friday the 13th. Really like this uh, particular still book. It looks really nice. Got Kevin Bacon there on the back with his throat slit. I really do enjoy Friday the 13th. I got Arctic Still book from the UK from Zavi. I got the Arrow release of um, Hellraiser 1, 2, and 3 still book. Really like the artwork on this one. And I picked up Carrie. Really nice looking still book from Arrow. And I did get the Joker still book. Um, I got Joker still book from Zavi UK. This is an exclusive 4K release. Now I do really like the artwork on this one. I actually like this artwork better than the US version. So very nice to have that still book. Some other still book releases I got from Best Buy and I think one from Target. Anyway, I got Knives Out, the Best Buy exclusive. Really like this one. I did do an unboxing of this, um, but very nice looking um, still book. And then of course, Doctor Sleep. I did get to watch this um, this month. Really enjoyed it. Um, I watched The Shining on one day, and then I watched Dr. Sleep the next day. really turned out very well. I really liked this um, movie. I got The Breakfast Club still book from Best Buy with the locker. And then, of course, I got Black Panther, the new um, 4K release from Best Buy. I really liked the artwork on this one. That one was pretty hard for me to find, so I'm very happy to have that one. And then another Ford versus Ferrari still um, a still book for it from Best Buy. Still need to check that movie out. Um, Boys in the Hood 4K still book from Best Buy. And then I got Shutter Island. I do hope to watch this one this weekend. Looking forward to checking this one out again. And then I got the Best Buy exclusive still book for Midway. Really like the artwork on this one. Still haven't seen that one. And then of course Target did a, a still book also for Midway. So this is the Blu-ray DVD, Blu-ray DVD and digital, and then Best Buy's was the 4K. So two different releases, very nice looking still books. And then the last still book I have is The Hunt for Red October. I picked this one up at Best Buy, but it is available at other retailers. I think the only other place I've seen this is um, on Amazon. So if you're interested in that, I would highly recommend you pick that one up. Okay, so the next stack of Blu-rays, which is my last stack, are some Blu-rays that I got um, from the Target sale. I believe it was buy two, get one free, or buy three, get one free. I can't re remember exactly what number that was, but very big stack here. So first up we have Waves. I got Ready or Not. Finally got a good price on that one with the buy two, get one free. Last Christmas. 
heard some good things about that one. Never did get to see it. Midsummer, still haven't seen this one yet. Very good price. And then I got the Target exclusive um, Harriet. Still want to check that one out. And then I got the Blu-ray release for Angel Has Fallen. Just because the other two um, releases were Blu-ray, I went ahead and just got the Blu-ray release. I know that there's a good price. I think $12.99 for the 4K. Um, but I'm okay with that. And then I picked up Parasite from this um, buy to get one free sale. Really enjoyed this movie in the theater, so very happy to have that one. Hopefully we'll get a better release for this other than um, just the regular Blu-ray. I got Goldfinch. The, um, it's the Goldfinch, sorry. I got The Great War. And then of course I got the Blu-ray release for Joker and the 4K release for Joker. Really nice looking slip covers. That was part of the sale. And then some 4K releases. So these are my 4K releases, and I did get these from the Target sale. I got The Wizard of Oz, regular 4K release. Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. I got Superman the movie. I remember seeing that in the theater, really enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed this one and Superman 2. Um, actually, I think I enjoy, well, I enjoy both of them. Then I got Forrest Gump, 25th anniversary release. And then I got The Patriot. I got Grease, really nice slipcover. Add Astra. And then my last four, we have Spectre, Casino Royale, Casino Royale, Quantum of Solace, and Skyfall. So very happy to have these four James Bond releases. Um, really nice looking additions. Um, hopefully we'll get more of the James Bond releases on 4K. I really hope we do. And I do hope that they keep the same theme as far as these slipcovers are concerned. I do like a nice uniformed um, slipcover. So those were all my pickups for the month of February. It was a very busy month, pretty expensive. Um, but I am happy with my selections that I got. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you were able to pick up. Hopefully you were able to find all the items that you wanted. Maybe March will be a little bit slower, which I say that now. And then I think about all of these new um, Disney, Pixar, um, 4K releases that are coming out. Lots of still books and a lot of 4K releases for Disney. Um, I've got those pre-ordered, so I am looking forward to getting those. But I really, do t um, I really do appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. If you like what you saw, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I am on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram, so you can find me there, and we will see you next time.